Thank you, thank you, Twitter gods. There are some new and pretty exciting features that Twitter have been quietly rolling out, which are going to change the game for independent musicians using this platform. And once again proves why Twitter is the jam right now for musicians wanting to build a fan base and deepen the relationship with that fan base and get monetized in the process. Yeah! Keep watching this video and I'm gonna show you four new Twitter features that you won't want to miss. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel, Crichton Clan, and if you are new here, my name is Lindsay Crichton from musicmarketingmethod.com. I am a proudly independent, full-time singer, songwriter, producer, and now coach for other independent musicians, and I love to create no fluff, no filler, how-to videos to help other independent musicians move the needle in their business. So if that is your jam, I would love for you to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be notified when I upload new how-to videos, and share this one with your tribe and let them know what your biggest takeaway has been from this video or any others on this channel. Now, Twitter has been rolling out new updates, and for those of you who are regulars on this channel will know I am a huge fan of Twitter and what it can do for musicians and creatives alike. It is an awesome place on the the internet where you can start building an engaged fan base for your music and create a sense of community for your art as well. And if you want a more in-depth video on that specifically, how to build a fan base using Twitter, you should definitely check out this video here and I will link it to the description below as well. But once you've started building an audience and you've started getting that ball rolling, there are now four new ways that you can use Twitter to deepen that relationship with your audience as it starts to grow. So today we are gonna have a look at these tools and why and how specifically they are gonna be useful for musicians growing their music biz. The first new update is Twitter Spaces. Twitter Spaces are essentially live audio conversations. They're available to anyone with a Twitter account. Anyone with a Twitter account can join a Twitter space or start one. Topics can range from fashion to NFTs to football anything you're interested in. But of course, there's a real opportunity here for musicians to deepen the connection with their growing fan base and show up for their audience in their zone of genius. The great thing about Twitter Spaces is because it's all audio, there are no cameras. You don't have to show up on camera, you just have to play your music and people can listen in, almost like your own radio station. And audio, if you think about it, is our superpower. So how can musicians use Twitter Spaces and why might they be useful? You can access Twitter Spaces via desktop or via the app, but there's way more functionality on the app, so I'm gonna show you that first. To access Twitter Spaces on the app, you click on the button at the bottom that looks like a microphone. This then opens the Twitter Spaces part of the app. And when you scroll through, you can see all of the Twitter Spaces that are either available right now and live. And if you click on it, you would go into that Twitter Space room and join the conversation. Or as you can see from these ones, you can click to set a reminder of upcoming Twitter Spaces as well. From here, you can also type in at the search bar at the top for a particular topic that interests you. So if we type in music, for example, you will then see all of the Twitter spaces that are live now with the word music as a keyword in there. And if you scroll across to upcoming near the top, it will show you all of the Twitter spaces with that topic that are set in the future at some point as well. If you want to create your own Twitter space, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either click on the microphone at the bottom again or or you can click on this blue plus button right here, which will bring up the option to either tweet, create a GIF, or as you can see, the microphone, you can create your own Twitter space. So what you would do at this point is you can give your space a name. So we're gonna go my awesome space. Obviously you'll choose a different name. You can add some topics to your space. So if we're showcasing a new track, for example, we might click on music and we might put a genre in as well. So we'll save that. And the other great thing you can do is actually record a space on Twitter so that it's not just something that occurs once, but you can repurpose that recording and put it on your Twitter feed 
so that people can get the replay later on. You can invite up to 10 speakers to speak on the Twitter stage. So as a musician, how could you use this? Well, for example, if you have collaborated with somebody on a songwriting mission, created a song, and then you've used a producer and other musicians, you could invite all of those collaborators to come into your Twitter space and speak together on that track that you've created. Talk about the why, talk about maybe some of the behind the scenes things that happened on that track and you can get all of those audiences from all of those different collaborators to come and join in as well thereby using other people's audiences to grow your own as well as have a more interesting and in-depth conversation with more people offering their take Twitter spaces is clearly Twitter going after some of the functionality that we've seen from the app like Clubhouse where people back in 2020 and 2021 would come together and talk about all sorts of different topics that they were really really interested in and learn from each other in real time. The idea behind those apps were the fact that it created a sense of FOMO, fear of missing out, because these were one-of-a-kind conversations that were never going to be repeated and so that encouraged people to access the conversation in the moment and they were not recorded and you couldn't repurpose them. The obvious problem with that for the content creators is that they were spending lots of time creating pieces of content and then they couldn't be reused or repurposed or people would be in the wrong time zone. And so that wasn't really working and it was leading some creators to burnout. The great thing about Twitter Spaces on the other hand is you can record the Twitter Space and so you can repurpose that content. People who are late or living in different time zones and can't access the conversation in the moment can listen to it on the replay from your Twitter feed. Musicians can be using Twitter spaces in so many different ways to nurture that relationship with your audience. It's a fab place for musicians who either want to hold a weekly live stream or maybe do a songwriting session with some of their fans, maybe even hold a Q&A or a coffee and catch up session, maybe even do some market research with fans to find out more about what they want to see from you moving forward in your content. You can also use Twitter spaces on desktop as well, but it's a little bit more difficult to find and a little bit more clunky, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. So when you open Twitter like this on your desktop, top go to the search bar and type in this Cody type thing filter colon spaces space and then the topic that you're interested in so I've just put football here so that we can see what will come up but when I press enter this should now bring up if I scroll down any spaces that have that keyword in them. So we've got the Irish football blog here, we've got Kings of Football here. And as you can see, there's the button here that you can play the recording. So these people have recorded their Twitter space and made it available as I described just now um, for the followers of this account to catch up. The next tool that Twitter have created for us is the communities tab. Now, for those of you who've been following this channel or me for a while know that I am a massive fan of building a sense of community around your music. And now Twitter's even helping you by creating this new Communities tab. Fostering a sense of community around your music by far outweighs vanity metrics, follow accounts. Getting to know your fans is really, really important in building a strong, sustainable brand and music business. It's not the numbers, but the people in your community who are the ones who are most interested in what it is that you are doing and want to see more of it. So you really want to try to share more about the behind the scenes process, backstory, the why, and get the conversation flowing. Make it a to and fro process where your community can ask you questions and you can have a back and forth conversation. Twitter communities were essentially created to give people a dedicated space on the internet to connect, share, and get closer to the discussions and conversations that they care about the most. So if somebody joins your Twitter communities area, that's a surefire sign that they are digging what you do. The Twitter communities tab can be found at the bottom of the screen on the app. But if you're on desktop like this, all you need to do is come over to the left hand side and the third option down is communities. And you just click on here. Now I'm currently in one community of one of my lovely students, but if you wanna create your own community, you just need to come up to this plus button here to start creating your new community. Give your community a name, invite people to join that way anytime you get any social media following from any platform you but especially on Twitter you can invite them to your Twitter communities area 
where you can continue the conversation with them. So whilst Twitter Spaces was using some of the functionality that you could find in apps like Clubhouse, Twitter Communities is using some of the function that you can find on things like Discord. Either way, I think it's amazing that Twitter are using tools or creating tools within its app so that creative people like us can deepen the relationship with our potential superfans. You can use Twitter Communities to have more of a back and forth conversation with people who clearly love your music and have expressed an interest to learn more. But it's your job to use it and your job to invite people and make it a space where it is a genuine flowing conversation. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try Twitter spaces or communities or if you've tried them already or are you a Discord user or a Clubhouse user? What was it or what is it about those specific apps and platforms that you enjoy and that you feel allows you to get to know your potential super fans better? And as ever if you are enjoying this video so far and you think some of your other musician friends might too, feel free to smash the subscribe button, click the bell and and share it from the share button below with your tribes and invite your friends into the Music Marketing Method tribe. The next thing I want to show you is a new tool called Twitter Co-Tweets. Now I can't actually show you right now how this works because at the time of recording this video it still hasn't been rolled out to the UK yet, but if you are in the US, Canada or Korea you should be able to access Co-Tweets through Twitter. Co-tweets could be another incredibly useful tool for musicians because like over on platforms like Instagram where you can post something together with another collaborator, now you can do it on Twitter too. And this is great because it taps into other people's audiences, OPA. Co-create, co-author, co-tweet. The cookbook is looking great. Can't wait till it hits the shelves. Me too. We should announce it now. Go tweet. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Two voices are louder than one. Tweet together with Co Tweet. Now testing. A Co Tweet is a co authored tweet that is posted simultaneously to both profiles' timelines and then also their audiences. You'll recognize a co-tweet when you're scrolling Twitter because you'll see both authors profile avatars and their usernames in the header. Co-tweets help authors share the spotlight, unlock opportunities for engaging other audiences and enhance established partnerships. So how can musicians use this for themselves? Well, let's say for example, you're going on tour and you've got a support act or maybe you're supporting another act. This would be the perfect opportunity to create a series of co-tweets between the two bands or two artists. Because just like going on tour with another artist, creating co-tweets also taps in to other people's audiences, vice versa. Usually when you go on tour with someone, you have a style of music that is similar to the other artist. Well, the same thing will be happening with tapping into those other artists using co-tweets. Equally, if there's a topic that you're really passionate about or interested in outside of music and you want to talk about it on a larger stage, you can create a co-tweet with another partner who's also interested in that topic and get your message out to a larger audience whilst making a stand together. Using other people's audiences is a great way to get new eyeballs on you and your music and has been used on other media outlets for time immemorial. Instagram has been using it over on the Instagram platform for a good while and fingers crossed Twitter will now roll it out to the Twitterverse as well. But the final and juiciest new tool that Twitter has rolled out on the platform, which will help musicians and creatives alike, is that now you can monetize on Twitter. There are currently two main ways that you can monetize on Twitter. The first one is super follows. Twitter are currently testing a new feature called super follows, which is where your biggest super fans can pay you a recurring monthly fee to be part of your exclusive club. They can get access to exclusive tweets, exclusive spaces, and behind the scenes information that other people on Twitter can't get access to. At the time of recording this video, Twitter is currently testing super follows in the US, Canada, New Zealand and Australia. And you can apply if you meet the criteria of being over 18 years old, having 10,000 followers and you tweet 25 days out of 30. Yeah. 
Even though this feature might not be available to some accounts right now, just know that Twitter are going to be rolling this out across the Twitterverse soon. However, one monetization strategy that is available on Twitter now is tips. You need to turn this feature on within the app itself and it's a little bit difficult to find, so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So essentially what you need to do is head to your Twitter profile, click on edit profile and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You will then see where it says tips and you can just turn it on. You'll be able to choose between Cash App, Bitcoin, GoFundMe and Patreon. Once you turn this on, a little icon will appear on your main profile so that if people are enjoying your content and want to take one step further and remunerate you for that, they can just click the button and send you a tip. If you feel like you need a little bit more help with music marketing or the business side of things, I help independent musicians to build an engaged fan base on this platform, help nurture that relationship with your growing audience and ultimately leads to monetization. So if you would like a free one-on-one -on -one chat with me on Zoom for 30 minutes, to talk about your music business, your goals, where you wanna go, feel free to head over to musicmarketingmethod.com or click the links in the description to book that call with me or watch my Monetize Your Music Masterclass where I go into far more detail on this topic. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to smash the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I drop a new video for you guys. And let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments. Let me know what your biggest takeaway has been and if you're gonna use any of the four new features that I just showed you today from Twitter and let me know why. Which one are you gonna choose and why? See you on the next video, bye.